take you live to a patchouli stink gift shop in Mystic, Connecticut. It says big design for dreaming energy. Guy Warwick, who needs to tone it down a few notches. Signature fonts in movie credits, always a good sign. Never a red flag. How could you even suggest that? And thus God spake, and the cosmic game of Boggle did begin. Hey, that's cheating. Live action Great Mouse Detective? Are we this desperate? I'm just going to pretend this is Pee Wee's breakfast machine and I'm having lots of fun. Yeah, it's a real pendulum swing. Like, literally. I think your clock just went quantum. Our 3D journey through the mind of Mitt Romney has only just begun. Uh, your gear just farted out scare quotes. My god, they've finally done it. Pixar has made a film with a concept so obtusely high that no one can tell what it's supposed to be about. Something about deadlines, clocks learning the value of friendship, I don't know. Maybe we're just in Guillermo del Toro's bathroom. It's time o'clock. Finally, I know what I'm looking at. Oh man, what a cuckoo tease. Wow, that's a pretty dark way to mark every hour of every day cool clock. Just hope you don't need to know what time it is. From the Pinocchio Sisyphus Collection. They had to cut there. It gets pretty graphic. What if Pac-Man was the ghosts? So it's the story of clocks, really, not so much time. What if you made the whole movie out of the Passage of Time montage? Stop! Watch! Okay, <laughs> that's a new wrinkle. Sure, boats, why not? Our flag means crumpets. I never thought I'd be uh, yearning so for a narrator, but I'm lost. The Perpetual Watch, is that a new Stephen King? What am I, a buccaneer? I can't read this. Then lots of other stuff also happened. I was born in Dusseldorf, and that is why I'm called Wilsdorf. This movie is 400% more whimsical than it needs to be. Always good to portray a practical, real-world application of your product. This is very helpful to me as a consumer. All that history and innovation, and in the end, it's just a boring gift for Dad. Uh-oh, we're losing him. Oh, now it's the miniature town from Beetlejuice. Cue the tarantula. Oh, we're just going to keep going, huh? 
So is this film suggesting that the Rolex was the culmination of the human project and there is nothing else of interest going on on this planet? Because that sounds correct. Or maybe this is all just Jodie Foster's daydream. Jenna Malone's. A crummy commercial. What a bummer. Time to go. Thank you so much for watching Fun With Shorts. This series is supported by Patreon and patrons like these wonderful people right here. They get early access to new episodes and exclusive episodes every month. Also, check out the updated funwithshorts.com for DVDs and merch and all the good stuff. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next time.